Hey guys, so in the last part of the Batman repelling video, we created the quick prototype of the actual repelling device. This will allow us to grab onto something and repel down. So the next question is, how are we going to get a rope for this? Because the rope can't be too big, because otherwise it's going to be too awkward. So we need something that's small, but also strong. Luckily, we have some leftover Kevlar string that we use for the stunt wire system. This stuff's only about 2 millimeters in diameter, and it's rated for 1,000 pounds. So that means we can actually coil up 25 feet of this very easily to use with a repelling device. But the next question is, how are we going to coil it up so it doesn't get tangled, and it allows us to repel off the building, and quickly put it away again? That's a pretty big challenge. Let's take a look. So, as you know, I'm a big fan of innovating existing products to use them for new things. That's why I'm called the Hacksmith. Because it's a lot faster to reuse something that already exists than to make something from scratch. So an idea came to me for holding all this Kevlar string, and it's actually really, really simple. A tape measure. You see, a tape measure already holds 25 feet of a metal strip. And it's spring-loaded for easy retraction. So what if we can just replace this metal strip with the Kevlar string. Maybe we've got ourselves a really easy to use um, storage device for the Kevlar. So let's start by measuring out 25 feet of the Kevlar rope. So I've cut about an extra foot and a half just in case. So when we put the string into the tape measure we want to make sure when it rolls up again we don't lose it inside. So I'm just going to go ahead and tape a little bit of electrical tape to the string to make sure it won't get sucked up into the tape measure. So now we're going to have to pull out all the tape measure. So I got a bit excited pulling the uh, tape measure out and I kind of forgot you guys slow down near the end because otherwise that happens. So, um, I'll be back. So basically I'm a genius. I was able to replace the um, spool from a, another tape measure into this one because I like the housing for this one instead. Uh, it's pretty finicky because basically all the tension is held by that center piece which just has a bend in the metal but I was able to switch it over. So let's try this again. Basically, you can see once you hit 25, you're supposed to stop. But if you keep pulling, you'll see that it actually attaches onto another piece. That's where we need to tie the Kevlar to. So as you can see, it's actually just notched. And you can basically twist to the side and pull out your tape measure. Now, right now, this is under crazy tension right now, so I can't let go. That's why I've got these um, surgeon pliers holding them on in, in place. So, I'm going to need a second set of hands to tie this Kevlar onto here. So, we're going to have to pause for a sec while I use my cameraman's hands. Question is, will we get all 25 feet in? So the tricky part is, there's nothing to guide this to spool up nicely, so it's probably spooling up kind of in a bit of a tangle. But it does seem to keep going. And yeah, as you can see, it's actually wrapped up pretty nice, but um, we definitely can't fit 25 feet of Kevlar into a 25 foot tape measure, because the tape measure itself, as you can see, it's pretty skinny. So we're probably going to have to find a slightly bigger tape measure if we want to have a 25 foot run of Kevlar rope. So that's how it's going to work. We're probably going to have to get a different tape measure and do a bit of a revision to the design, but you get the gist of it. And it seems to work pretty good. So the next question is, well we've got the rope, but how are we going to hang on to it as we're repelling off the building? And that's the cool part. So we're basically making a miniature gree gree. So if any of you guys rock climb, a gree gree is the repelling device used most commonly for people to belay people while rock climbing. Now, you're never supposed to use this by yourself, but we're designing our own, so we can make up the rules as we go. 
So stay tuned to the next episode when we show you our custom bat repelling device, which Ian is working on right now. Hurry up, Ian. I'm hurrying. <laughs>